timing's a little off. This is where we got to go. Final portion of this put together. Maybe we're going to figure something out. Mass airflow sensor, first of all. Released. Pliers. Pull this clamp back. Separate your vacuum line. From the vacuum line. Go over here on the other side. Boom. Get a screw here. <laughs> Thought about it. Rest of the motor's open. Next in line because it's variable valve timing. These are your variable valves. Look, right here it's even marked exhaust intake. Beautiful. Have a little wire party or anti wire party, if you will, because these all need pulled. Yes, they wiggle a lot because I've already got them loose. These here are the ignition coils. They're coil over plugs. COP ignition coils. And again, if your mechanic can't find your 10 millimeter, you're in trouble. I apparently have no other sockets but a 10 millimeter. Yeah. That's your ignition coil. That's your valve cover. That's everything in here. All this stuff will have to be taken loose with a 10 millimeter. Okay, little bitty secret. If you don't have a belt tensioner for these really ridiculously designed belt tensioners, it's a strut style. It's got a coil spring over the top side of a little shock right here. It's not a regular tensioner. That nut does nothing. You can actually put a C-clamp from base bolt one to the end of the shock, compress it, your belt, your drive belt, that starts the car, runs the alternator, goes over everything outside. Your only serpentine belt can be disconnected after you C-clamp that. You're welcome for the tip. There you go. Harmonic balancer. Got the bolt pulled off. Need a little bit of heat and an impact. Normally, you need a puller. It's going to attach right here in these three holes with bolts. And the main stud will go in here, pushes it right off. Mine, however, <clears throat> yeah, remove it by hand. Yay, oil leaks and all. Plates coming off next. Get this timing right, my car is going to do some good. Yep, going to be here a minute. Arr. Come on, give me. There we go. All these outer bolts, that center bolt, all the framers. We'll be back. Yeah, still going. Quarter turn, quarter turn, quarter turn. Life of a mechanic! Yes, now we can play around a little bit just so you know. There are a few marks you have to notify. See this little notch in the block? That's your timing mark. Little notch in the first crank gear. That's your timing mark for your crank shaft. Make sure they're lined up. You've got number one at top dead center once that bad boy's where it belongs. Stay tuned!